Hello viewers, welcome to my channel and today's topic is radionuclide histogram. but before starting this topic I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link for the website is just below this video in the description area so once you click that link it will take you to the website so you can find the information there and uh, please don't uh, forget to subscribe this channel as well now come to the topic what is uh, radionuclide cystogram you know which this is also known as uh, a bladder scan you know and it's an imaging test or imaging uh, modality you know and your doctor may use it to diagnose the illness or the abnormalities in your bladder like uh, uh, infection or distension or maybe incomplete emptying you know and uh, during this exam the small amounts of a radioactive fluid uh, uh, injected into the bladder uh, through a thin and flexible tube which is called catheter you know and the fluid can uh, show your doctor the areas of concern when highlighted under a specialized scanner and for example, it can reveal the tumors or the structural defects in the bladder, you know. And this procedure is generally painless, uh, but you may experience like diff discomfort or, you know, when the catheter is inserted or when it, it's removed, you know. And the urination may be uh, uncomfortable for several hours after the scan, you know. Uh, now the next thing is, uh, uh, why do doctors order this test, you know? Well, you know, your doctor may recommend this test if you are having problems with the bladder, you know. And you could, uh, this could indicate the incomplete emptying of your bladder, any leakage of urine, any difficulty in urination. And it also, uh, it's performed to diagnose the, uh, the cause of the urinary tract infections, and especially in children, you know. And uh, some of the most common areas, uh, a radio uh, nucleoid cystogram are done, include, uh, uh, bladder infections, uh, enlarged prostate glands, uh, frequent urination, and uh, uh, nerve problems, uh, obstruction in the urine flow, you know, and maybe your uh, urine reflux, you know, so which means that uh, uh, it's a backward flow of the urine from the bladder to your kidneys, you know, so it's known as urine reflux, you know. So they say, are there any risk factors? Well, the test uses small amounts of the radioactive material that are considered safe, you know. And uh, the solution containing the radioactive material is injected into your bladder through the catheter in the urethra, you know. And the urethra is the tube that allows the urine to flow from the bladder to the outside of the body, you know. And you may feel like a slight discomfort when the catheter is inserted or when the catheter is removed, you know. And uh, this is typically, it subsides uh, shortly after the test, you know. And your urine may appear like slightly pink after the test due to the bleeding from the catheter insertion and maybe removal, you know. And some people experience like urinary tract infections as a result of this procedure. But this is very rare, you know. But it's how do, do you need any kind of preparation, you know, before this procedure? Well, the radionuclide cystogram requires no special preparation and uh, you will have to move all the jewelry and uh, change into the hospital gown before the test, you know. And your doctor will ask you uh, the questions about any medical condition or any kind of medical history or any symptoms, you know. And it's important to answer these questions uh, as completely as possible uh, to help your doctor to identify and minimize any potential side effects of the procedure, you know. Uh, the next thing is, uh, well, how do doctor perform this test, you know. How will this procedure be performed? You know, you know this test is uh, performed in your hospital's radiology department, or maybe at a specialized testing facility. You know, and uh, you will uh, begin the test by lying down on a, a like scanner table. You know, and a nurse will then insert a catheter into your urethra, up to the bladder. You know, and you may it, it may cause a little bit discomfort. You know. And a solution containing the radioactive trace cell will uh, follow. Uh, it will it will be injected through the catheter 
into the bladder, you know. And uh, this will allow your radiologist to view your bladder using the X-ray scan. When your bladder is full, the images will be taken of your bladder using a special camera, you know. So you may also have to urinate uh, while uh, images are taken, you know. Okay, and you may urinate uh, into like uh, a urethral or bed pen, you know. And the more images are taken when your um, uh, bladder is empty. Uh, now when the radiologist uh, is finished, you know, then the catheter will be removed uh, and the test will end, you know, and you will be free to leave uh, when this is complete. And there's no risk of the radioactive traces remaining in your body because your bladder will completely expel them during the normal urination, you know, so it won't be going to the bloodstream anyhow. Uh, the next thing is uh, about the results and the interpretation, you know. Well, your radiologist will uh, review your images and uh, send the findings uh, to your doctor, you know. And if the flow of the urine is obstructed, uh, this test will help your doctor to determine what's blocking it, you know. And uh, this test can also help your doctor to identify the best way to treat the problem, you know. So this way it's a very useful test, you know. And uh, your doctor will test, uh, discuss the results with you and uh, the treatment options if there is any underlying cause, you know. And uh, But sometimes the further testing may be needed, you know. But it depends on what's causing that obstruction or what's the problem, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you and goodbye.